But in the summer of 1965, 33-year-old CBS correspondent Morley Safer filed what would become one of the most controversial television reports of the war. Early on the morning of August 3rd, he had been invited to join a search and destroy operation at a suspected Viet Cong stronghold south of Da Nang. I talked to a captain, tried to get some idea of what the operation was about, and he said, well, we got orders to take a this complex of villages called Cam Day. And I, I never heard anything like that. He said to take out this complex of villages. And I thought, perhaps he's, he's exaggerating. We got in. Uh, the troops walked across towards this village. And started torching every house every house that I could see as far as I could see. This is what the war in Vietnam is all about. The old and the very young. The Marines have burned this old couple's cottage because fire was coming from here. The trooper with the flamethrower was ordered to zap a particular house and Vietnamese camered man, put his camera down and said, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. We could hear people crying. Every Vietnamese house has a shelter of some kind. And down there was a family, probably six people, including a couple of, including a, a practically newborn baby. It was frightened stiff. Uh, they didn't want to come out. He coaxed them out. And then the house was torched. Been in action like this before, Marine? No, I haven't. Not like this, I haven't. Did you uh, set fire to these houses here? No, we were just off to the left of it when it was burning. Were you getting fire from them? Somewhat, not too much. Just a little sniper fire. The day's operation burned down 150 houses wounded three women, killed one baby, wounded one Marine, and netted these four prisoners. Four old men who could not answer questions put to them in English. Camden was a shock. No people idea. saw American troops acting the way people had never seen before. And to see young GIs and big guys in flak jackets lighting up thatch roofs, and women holding babies running away, wailing. This was a new sight, really, to everyone. It went against the American myth of a thousand Westerns in the movies. It is the Indians who are torturing women and children and the cavalry that rides up at the last minute to free them. And here was this jarring thing of of our troops, instead of giving out chewing gum to kids, um, turning the firepower really on a village, it raised in a very elemental way the question of whether we were on the right side. What, what could be happening if our boys are doing this? I think what, what makes the story in a certain way most significant was that it was happening on television, uncensored, either in picture or commentary. This wouldn't have happened in World War II, or if it had happened, it wouldn't have been photographed. Or had it been photographed, the photographs would have been censored or taken away. There was a realization that the rules have all changed. Today's operation is the frustration of Vietnam in miniature. There is little doubt that American firepower can win a military victory here. But to a Vietnamese peasant whose home is a, means a lifetime of backbreaking labor, it will take more than presidential promises to convince him that we are on his side. Morley Safer, CBS News, near the village of Cam Nhi.